Okay, I'm going to take you through the steps for building the poly pipe primitive. What I'm starting with is a NURBS torus, and if we look here um, in the channel box, you'll see something that's a little bit unique compared to the poly torus, is that we've got this sweep control here. So if we were to put that down to something like 90, we can come up with a good starting point here. So what I'd like to do next is take this isoparm and just do an offset. I'm using the default settings. So let's set that distance to 0.1 so we get a decent number there. And let's now take this isoparm and that, oops, that curve, not that isoparm, and lock them together. Now we'll do the same trick here with the surface this time, let's say edit nerves, offset surface. Of course I want that in the opposite direction. And then I will use the curve here and the inside isoparm there and do one more loft. So now we have a nice pipe shape. So this cap here would fit on that end around this side here when we start building those pipes together and building different shapes. Now what we get out of this is the nice construction history from the nerves. So if I were to you know, go on here, I can change some details in there. You already saw how that uh, sweep value looks in there. Again, if I go back to here to my offset surface, I could change that so I can have a longer or shorter pipe. So what we'd like to do next now is convert this over to a poly assembly or poly mesh here. So let's go modify, convert nerves to polys. Just opening this up to show you that I've got attached multiple output meshes turned on. Also set it to quads, tessellation method, tessel tessellation method general with the purse bands set to three in both directions. So we tessellate and we get one continuous poly mesh. Now you can see a couple things here where it might not be perfect. And, uh, you know, the, the two that I'm most interested in are the edges here aren't hard and soft the way I want them, and there may actually be um, some verts here that are not closed up, so let's take a look. Yeah, you can see I've got two verts there at this point. That would be where the seam was on the underside. So, let's take this, and I'm just going to control right mouse and convert that selection to vertices, shift right mouse button, merge verts. Okay. So that should be pretty good there. If we check the bottom, we should be down to one, so that part is cleaned up. The other part I'd like to do is, in the shaded mode, is deal with these hard soft edges here. So let's pick that and convert our selection to edges and shift right mouse button, soften harden edges, and I just pop on the soft edge node here. Now you see that default setting of 30 is not very good, so let's set that up somewhere around 60, 70, should be decent. So yeah, so we're keeping the hard parts where the pipe uh, connects, and we keep it soft through the rest of the mesh. So now I've got it as one continuous mesh, but I still have the construction history from before. So if we were to test something like um, my nerves torus settings, for example, I could change my number of spans, and you see how that changes. Now one of the things you're seeing here is my hard edge values are changing. Uh, let me put on the wireframe here so you can see everything. So you see as I change the settings on the torus, it's updating to work on the pipe, so I can keep an even tessellation through here. Uh, but I've got this issue here with these edges at the top that are not respecting my soft hard settings, and I may have uh, issues with the merge verts as well. So there is a way to fix this. It requires a little bit of mel, and uh, you know at this point you can decide whether you want to go down this road or you know not really worry about that tessellation. If you want to go down that road and deal with it, the way to do it is here in the script editor. I've 
typed it out just to uh, make this a little bit smoother and I'll blow that up to hopefully make this a little more readable for you. So if I just minimize this for a second, you see we've got the, the merge verge and the soft edge nodes here. So that's where I'm getting those names from. Now if you do a list adder on these things, what you'll see is a whole list of uh, attributes on there. And the, the one we're interested in is the input components. So if I were to you know, do a get adder on my oops, get adder on my polymerge vert one node, we can see the list and it's hard coded in here as uh, from zero to five hundred and ninety. But because I've changed the tessellation I've actually got more vertices. So I just need to change that value uh, something that's going to work. And in this case, what I'll do is I'm actually going to set it to all vertices. There's no reason why I don't want them all uh, to be merged. So I'm just going to run the command this way. So the, what we're doing is set adder on the poly merge for input components attribute. Now because of this attribute type, uh, we have to specify, you know, this is sort of a unique one being an input component list or component list type. So we have to make sure we're calling that the component list type. The component list wants the number of uh, elements in the uh, array or the arguments, that you're, the number of arguments you're going to send. In this case, I'm just sending one argument here. So I put one VTX for vertex and star for all of them. So we'll run this command. And I'm also going to do it on my soft edge. So a uh, slight difference here, uh, node name is different of course, and then I'm doing edges instead of vertices. So let's run that, and when I minimize this, now you can see that those edges are uh, cleaned up and look the way you want. And if we were to go in here and actually go into this one, let's change some of our values on this again. If I were to increase my spans, you know, hopefully you can see a little bit of change there. might be hard to see that it's getting smoother. Um, but you see that my, my values are being respected there. So let's put that back somewhere in the neighborhood of where it was. So now I have a good uh, setup for the basics of the pipe. And what I'm going to do is pause here because the next step uh, will start to look at the rigging.